I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my YouTube channel, the website Global Math Institute, and the WhatsApp group Free Math Solutions. The WhatsApp group is doing great. We are having a battery of questions from some of the brilliant students, especially Mr. Kuldeep. And then we are having excellent solutions from professionals like Mr. Narath. It has been a great pride to be a member of this team and to see how the set of questions are being tackled in this particular group. I think for me as a spectator, it is good to now share with you some of the questions. So here is another brilliant one, which says, find the value of 444445 times 888885 times 444442 plus 444438 divided by 444444 whole square. So you have to evaluate this. So I suppose it has come from some competition. Let us see how to solve it. So let me thank all the members of the group to participate actively and especially the YouTube channel group. If you are interested, you can join our WhatsApp group and see what's going on there. So let's see how to solve this. So the very first step will actually simplify all this and provide you with complete solution, at least the vision for solution. We need to evaluate that big number. So what was done was is that uh, the denominator, which is basically, uh, let me take the correct ink, which is basically uh, the six fours. So this is written as X. Now, as soon as you write this whole number as X, you can write all of the numbers in terms of X, right? So, so the number, which is uh, uh, all these five fours, and one five here means one more than X, correct? And if I have eights here, so five eights, and then we have a number five here, it means two times X. So two times X will give me, this number will be 10, but I need five. So I will be minus three, right? So eight, I mean, so if two times, we are doing this eight, eight minus five is three. So we get two X minus three. The number which is uh, five fourths and then two. In that case, these five fourths are, uh, can be written as X minus two, right? So four minus two is two. And the last number, which is uh, these five fourths, and uh, in fact, four fourths and 38. Okay, so four fourths and 38 will be written as x minus uh, 6, right? That gives you triple 4 minus. So focus on the last two numbers. 44 minus 6 is, is 38, correct? Okay. So this is how you could actually translate all these numbers. And then we could actually write this expression in terms of x. So we could write this as, now the first number here on the top numerator is x plus 1. The next one is 2x minus 3. And then we have x minus 2. Right? And then we have plus x minus 6. And the denominator is x squared. So this expression now can be written in the form of x. And now the idea is to simplify this expression, which is not that difficult. Correct? So I think you can now pick up the problem from here, solve it further and get the solution and then check with my solution, right? So that's the beauty of solution provided by Mr. Narath. Now let's look into the solution of how to evaluate this. So let us simplify this expression. Let me rewrite in terms of X what this expression is. So we need a lot of space here. So we have x plus 1 as the first term. The next term is 2x minus 3 times x minus 2. 
and then we have plus x minus 6 over x square. We can now apply the distributive property multiplying these two polynomials. We get 2x square minus 3x plus 2x minus 3 times x minus 2 plus x minus 6 divided by x square. Now that simplifies to we get this as 2x square minus x minus 3 times x minus 2 plus x minus 6 divided by x square, right? Again, let's do the distributive property. Multiplying by x minus 2 this time, we get 2x cubed. First, we'll multiply by x minus x squared minus 3x, then with minus 2. So we get minus 4x squared plus 2x plus 6. And we have plus x minus 6 divided by x squared. So let's combine the terms. 2x cubed remains as such. The x squared terms, we have uh, minus x squared and uh, minus 4x squared. That gives us minus 5x squared. The x terms, minus 3x plus 2x plus x is 0. And 6 minus 6 is also 0. So we get this divided by x squared. Now, well, we can cancel x squared. So we get 2x minus 5. And now you know what x is, right? So, so you can write 2 times the value of x, which is 6 fourths minus 5. Okay, So that gives you the value, which is 8, 6 of them minus 5 and that should give you the answer which is 5 of these 8s and 8 minus 5 which is 3. Do you see that? So that is how you would actually evaluate the given expression. I hope it makes sense and you appreciate how these numbers have been converted to polynomials and by simplifying a polynomial expression we have done such a big calculation. I hope that makes sense. Feel free to write your comment, share your views, and if you want to join our group, the link is being provided to you. You can always join and contribute. Thanks for your time and all the best.